Welcome to online session of Power Plant Engineering. My name is Vishal Acharya. Today we will discuss about the economic of power generation related various term related to economics of power generation. First term is the connected load. Connected load is the sum of the rating of the kilowatt of equipment installed in the consumer premises. In shown a figure, one tube light, 40 watt, heater, 1000 watt, TV, 60 watt, tube light, 40 watt, CLF, 20 watt, ironing, 500 watt, CLF, 25, fan, 60 watt. Here the connected load in the premises given. The total connected load in the consumer premises is tube light 40 plus heater 1000 plus TV 60 plus tube light 40 plus CLF bulb 20 watt, ironing 500 watt, CLF bulb 25 watt and last fan 60 watt. The total connected load for this system is 1745 watt. Our next term is related to demand. The demand of any installation or system is the load that is driven from the source of light at the receiving terminal average over the suitable and specific deliver time. Demand is expressed in the kilowatt or other suitable unit. For the residential load here, quantity of energy consumed and electrical demand throughout the day in the kilowatt. Here the highest demand is called the peak load or peak demand for this system. Next is the maximum demand or peak load. It is the maximum demand load which consumer uses at any time. It can be less than or equal to the connected load. Means for connected load 1740 watt our maximum demand is always less than 170 40 watt. If all equipment fitted in the consumer premises run to their fullest extent simulation, then the maximum demand will be equal to the connected load. Means our all the system running at one time, the, the total consumer premises is equal to maximum demand possible. But generally, the actual maximum demand is less than the connected load because all the device never run at the full load at the same time. Means all the cons consumer premises not run at same time. Next is the demand factor. It is demand is the ratio of the maximum demand to the connected load. Here demand factor is the ratio of the maximum demand to connected load. Our maximum demand assume 500 and our connected load is 1740. This is the ratio of 500 divided by 1740 is called our demand factor. Demand factor is always less than 1 because our maximum demand is always less than the connected load. Our next term is average load. The average load is calculated dividing the area under the load curve by the time period considered to the load curve. Here the load curve, one axis is present the load and second axis is present the timing. Here represent the load curve means the demand of the customer. Here load in megawatt and time in hour so that average load is equal to area under the load cube divided by the 24. Here energy consumed in 24 hour means the average energy consumed in 1 hour is called the average load. When our total area under the load is 1000 and our time for the day is 24 hour to 1000 divided by 24 is called the average load for daily demand. If we calculate the average load for month, the graph present the day wise upon the load so that here total area under the load crew in the month divided by 30 cross 24 means 720 hours 
is called the average load for the month same for the average load for annual next term is the load factor it is the defined the ratio of the average load to the maximum or peak load load factor is and demand factor are always less than unit because load factor play an important part of cost of the generation per unit the higher load factor will be lesser will be cost of the generation per unit for the same maximum demand here load factor is also called the utilization factor when the your maximum you serve 500 megawatt and only use 300 megawatt means your utility factor is the 60 percent same load factor is average load upon the maximum demand means the you produce 500 megawatt for daily but you all consume only 300 or 400 megawatt means your load factor is uh, between the 0 0.6 to 0 0.8 means your utilization factor is less than one means the some energy or some capital cost is just in the system here the formula for the load factor is the ratio of the average load to the maximum demand is also called the total energy consumption in 24 hours divided by the peak load cross 24 our next phenomena is the diversity factor diversity factor is the ratio of the sum of the maximum demand of the individual consumer and the simulation of the maximum demand of the whole group during the particular time diversity factor is equal to sum of the individual maximum demand upon the simulation of the maximum demand at the given time here some diversity factor is always one here in the one example here load three types of the load is present domestic load industrial load agricultural load and time is the 6 to 20 to 9 to 17 and 23 to 6 for the domestic load 400 4000 kilowatt for industrial load 8000 kilowatt and agricultural load is the 100 kilowatt so here we also know that the diversity factor is always less greater than one here the sum of the individual maximum demand means the domestic load plus industrial load plus agricultural load means the 4000 plus 8000 plus 5000 means the sum of the individual maximum demand is the 17000 kilowatt but for the time 6 to 17 only use the domestic load and industrial load so some of the maximum demand at given time for 6 to 17 is 12,000 means the diversity factor for 6 to 17 time is the 17,000 divided by the 12,000 is greater than 1 same we calculate for the different time and different load for the same system diversity factor is always greater than one because some of the individual minimum demand and at given time demand is not match so that always is greater than one our next phenomena is the plant capacity factor it is defined as the ratio of the actual energy produced in the kilowatt hours the maximum possible energy that could have be produced during the same period here plant capacity factor is the average load cross the 24 divided by the plant capacity cross 24 is equal to average load divided by the plant capacity if my plant capacity is the 500 megawatt for a day and my average load is the only 300 megawatt so our plant capacity factor is the 300 divided by the 500 is 0 0.6 next phenomena is the plant use factor it is the defined as the ratio of the energy produced in a given time to the maximum possible energy that could have produced during the actual number of hours that plant was in operation here plant use factor is equal to the ratio of the energy annual energy produced divided by the capacity of plant cross the number of hour of the plant in operation during the year 
here E is equal to energy, annual energy produced C is the plant capacity and T bin is the number of hours plants is in operation during the year or total energy produced during the year is 10,000 and our plant capacity is the 20 and our number of plant in operation during the year 1000 so that 10,000 divided by the 20,000 is 0 .5, 0 0.5 is the plant useful factor. Here the graph is represent the year average load, here the peak load and the plant capacity so that load factor is the ratio of average load to peak load use factor is the peak load divided by the plant capacity and capacity factor is the average load upon the plant capacity thank you